Hey folks, how's everybody doing? I know it's been a long time, uh, but I still exist and I'm still going to be making videos, <clears throat> hopefully a little bit more regularly. I've got a lot of stuff to show everybody, um, and yeah, I'd like to really get a little bit more regular with these and kind of document my collection and everything. So today we're going to be talking about this. Um, this is one of the cooler knives I've gotten recently. I got it off of Blade Forms. Uh, that's where I get most of my stuff, but um, this is a Whittler. This is a split back Whittler in Stag. It is a King Cutter. There's that split back. Very nice. Look at the Stag on that pile side. Isn't that something? You just don't see stuff like that anymore, at least on production knives. I mean, this wasn't this wasn't even an expensive knife. If you saw a stag like that on a GEC, you'd poop your pants. Yeah, it's got that nice bar shield. You can see the two pins on either side. Neat bolsters. There's that big, thick blade. So let's go ahead and open it up here. This is a Keen Cutter, um, a Simmons hardware. Uh, so I think that the Simmons... The ones that are stamped uh, Simmons were from the 20s, the 50s. I could be wrong. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit here. There we go. So yeah, this is a pretty standard uh, pattern for the time period. I've seen several of these before. Um, you see a lot of Robesons, um, Shrades. I think Case had one of these where it's that smaller uh, cigar pattern with kind of the nail tool pen blade and then a spear point main um, nice little cutouts for the fingers there with brass liners uh, man somebody either somebody cleaned this thing out or it has just been uh, maintained really well because that inside is suspiciously clean I mean, maybe the liners were even replaced, although I don't think so. Look at how thick that blade is, though. That's ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah, this is a pretty common pattern for that time. You don't see them anymore. It'd be cool if GEC made something like this, like a little cigar pattern, uh, Whittler with the nail tool and everything. Let me just throw in a couple other knives for um, some size comparison here. Here's my 85. So it's, it's a pretty small knife. Uh, there it is next to an 85. Um, it is next to a 38, and let's go ahead and take those out, and here it is next to a number 14, so it's about pretty much exactly the same size as a 14, except, um, you know, skinnier, it has a smaller profile. Um, I don't think that I'm going to be able to show you guys the, well, no. There it is. Uh, let's see here. So E.C. Simmons was the owner of a hardware company that sold these knives. Um, it says E.C. Simmons Keen Cutter. I believe at the bottom it says Trademark USA. Um, it's actually pretty sharp. But that is just... A beautiful knife. Look at that swedge. And that is a thick blade. Let's check out these secondary blades here. Here's the nail tool. I'm assuming that's for like digging in. I use my knives all the time for cleaning out my fingernails. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I've actually been carrying this and using it on my fingernails. So you've got a finer side and a coarser side. Um, all the blades have the tang stamp. And they all have the same tang stamp. Very cool. And even this one has a swedge on it right there, you can see. And then we have the pen blade. It's again the tang stamp. Pretty standard affair. This one looks like 
may have been a little over sharpened in the past. Nice swedge. Nail nick. There's not too much more to say about this. Um, it's pretty, it looks like it's pretty standard construction and everything. Um, these guys are pinned. If you can see those big pins right there. I don't know if those are solid or not. I'm guessing that they're not. It is interesting that you can't see the pin. So maybe that's that pin is actually part of them on their push through. I'm not sure how those are constructed. Yeah. Just a really neat piece. Um, Lots of character. You don't see stuff like this, and, and it's got that beautiful stag on that one side to really top it off. And I, I just love split back whittlers. <clears throat> I used to have lots of um, old case split back whittlers from the 70s and 60s, and um, I had a, uh, like some strades that what it was the 804, I think the strade S S H 804, I believe was a, was one of the split back whittlers that I really liked. It was I think it was the swell center. Um, yeah, these are a lot of fun, and uh, you could definitely make a hobby out of just collecting um, one particular pattern. So there it is. That's the Keen Cutter Split Back Whittler. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and like I said, I'm going to be putting out a lot more videos. Um, some traditional, and, and I've got a lot more modernized in my collection recently, so I'm going to be doing some stuff on that. Uh, just little overviews like I do, nothing too in-depth. So until next time, guys, take care.